Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to update the version of PHP that you use with your Fasthost shared hosting package. So to start we're just going to go to web hosting here and then you're going to get a list of all the, uh, the websites you've got in your account. I've got a lot here so I'm going to search for the one that I want to use just because I know it's got a uh, an older version of PHP on there. So this one here. So click on the, the domain name and it will take you to the package overview. And from here, we will be able to see the version of PHP we're using. So if you see here, web scripting, PHP 7.0. So if we click change there and we can update it. So here we can see I'm currently on seven, which is end of life, which means it's drop in support. Um, so there's not going to be any more further official updates for it. So we need to upgrade to a newer version. You can use the recommended or you can go up to the absolute latest. Sometimes I think it's better to go to the latest and see because if everything works, it just means you won't have to upgrade for a little bit longer. Um, but by all means, that's your choice. So if we choose, I'm going to choose the latest version there. And um, it does say you've chosen to move from an end of life version of PHP. Make sure your site's compatible with your choices before continuing as you will not be able to move back to your previous selection. So it's important to note that once you move to one of the in life versions, so in here 7.4, 7.3 and 7.2, you can switch between those on the fly. So if you go to 7.4 and it breaks, you could always go back to 7.2. You as you will not have options to go back to an end of life. However, our support teams do. So if something breaks and you don't know why and you need to troubleshoot, give us a call on support, we can put you back on an end of life version. Obviously it's only gonna be a temporary solution, but we can do it for you. So don't panic if stuff breaks, because let's be honest, most of us aren't coders um, and we don't necessarily know until we click that button whether everything's gonna be compatible. However, you can always go on php.net here um, and they've got some information in the documentation that will just show you um, how to sort of Go, it will show you the differences between the versions basically and um, sometimes it's a bit easier just to as well on the website they've always got the upgrading versions here and um, if you click on those it will take you to this screen as well and um, so that's sometimes a little bit easier but it shows you migrating from different versions to php so you can see if there's potential uh, any incompatibilities but if we just go ahead and update that there so we're going to check that box click save it's pretty much instant so we'll do that there's potential for your website to just go down while it's updating to php version 7.4 but generally speaking it's pretty much instant so if you're still having problems after 15 minutes with your website revert back and if you want to revert back if i click change there look it's gone to 7.4 i can go back to 7.3 7.2 but not 7.0 so i'd have to contact support and they could do it for me that's all there is to it Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.